Hello everyone, Charlie here. And in today's video, first off, I would like to apologize. And second off, I would like to talk about experiences, both bad and good, that affect us and different ways to, to handle those experiences instead of um, putting blame on anyone, instead of having a negative outlook um, toward a specific experience, different things like that, um, turning it into something positive and moving forward and not letting this eat you, okay, inside. There's different ways to handle it. And um, I'd like to explain to you ways that work for me but first, I'd like to apologize. Um, I recently had an experience that did not go well with um, the counselor that I've been seeing. And that is absolutely fine. Um, what I take from it is I have a learning experience. Um, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to take the positive that I received from it. And I'm going to move forward with that. I'm going to build upon that positivity. And the things that I did not agree with, um, that did not work for me, that did not work for the relationship, I'm just going to, basically I've already dealt with it at this point, okay? And I'm not going to look at that. I'm going to look at the good from it. I'm going to look at the fact that, yeah, I put a lot of money into it. I'm out, I don't, I'm out over a thousand four hundred bucks, but it was a learning experience, okay? And I'm going to move forward with someone that, that, that I do mesh with, that I do have a good relationship with, and that's willing to accommodate um, the feelings that I have toward my transition because I want this to be a positive experience, okay? Um, and, and like I've said before, it's not that no negativity is going to happen, all right? But I want this to overall be just a great experience for me, okay? I'm becoming somebody else, I'm becoming the person that I'm supposed to be, okay? And um, it, it, it's kind of neat. It's almost like I'm pregnant in a way, <laughs> and this person is becoming, you know, me. <laughs> but um, I don't know if that's the best way to explain that. But either way, uh, it's similar to that. Um, I'm taking care. Uh, with it, I'm you know focusing on nutrition and health and um, working out and every aspect that I possibly can, doing all the research that I can, um, taking all this into my hands, and and I'm going to um, I'm going to have a great experience from it. I already have so far. So I just wanted to apologize that there are videos that I won't be sharing with you um, from. Uh, before I came out to everybody, um, because I don't, um, I don't feel that they are a good fit uh, for me, and I also don't feel that they would be a good fit for many people in the trans community, um, because of specific reasons, and that's it. I'm just going to leave it at that. So moving forward. Uh, I have found another counselor. Uh, I start. I've, I've had a lot of uh, communication with him so far, and uh, so far I like everything a lot. I love everything, and I think he's going to really help me with uh, moving forward with everything. So, with that being said, turning experiences into a positive, positive light. Okay. Uh, for those of you that know me, like know me very well, you know that I've been through some. Cr crazy experiences in my life. And they are experiences that many people would have become very depressed with, uh, never let go. Uh, you know, said things like, you know, this always happens, this, you know, this will never happen because of this, this will, you know what I mean, get caught up in this negative cloud, essentially. And many people don't come out of that, okay? I luckily did. I'm very, very good at positive thinking. And one thing that I've really found is that turning any experience that I've had, both bad and good, into a positive experience. What did I learn from that? What did I take away from that that was good, okay? Um, what did I learn not to do in the future? 
it's very, very important. And I feel it's very important for not only anybody in the world, but especially people that are going through uh, a trans, you know, a, a, a trans um, journey. Okay. <clears throat> Let me give you a couple minor examples. Okay. I'm not going to get into detail. Uh, I will just briefly cover these. But uh, there have been some people in my life that were very negative. Uh, there were bad influences on me. What I chose to do was my own choices. I do not hold that in anybody. But because they, they did me wrong, because they um, brought a, a, you know, a bad cloud into my life, okay, um, because they did nothing to, to change it, nothing to, no actions, let's say they said sorry, but there were no actions thereafter to show, okay, saying sorry is easy. Uh, continuing with actions in the future to show that you are actually sorry is very, very different. Um, there are some people that I've had in my life that didn't have the same beliefs as me, and that's absolutely fine. I don't expect anybody to have the same beliefs as me. But when they are beliefs that I just can't deal with, um, I keep a distance. For those that caused um, Maybe there's bad influences, whatever it may be. Um, I keep a distance. It's not that I'm going to shut you out of my life. It's that I am not going to have you in my immediate life because you don't deserve my attention. You don't deserve my energy. I'm focused on a lot of things that I want to achieve. That's how I achieve the things that I do. And if I allow negative energy, if I allow liars, if I allow people that have hurt me in the past, if I allow those kinds of things into my life, then I'm saying that you know, I'm not worth it. I'm not, I'm not worth um, positive experiences. I'm not, I'm not worth a, a lot of things. And maybe I'm not saying that exactly the way I'm thinking it. I don't know. But, uh, it's very important for me to to keep positivity in my life. It's very important for me to continue to move forward. And there is nothing wrong with removing some people from your life to achieve those things and to keep that negativity out, to keep that hurt out, to keep whatever it is that they're causing in your life out. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Again, you're not shutting the door completely. But you're not going to waste your time. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your energy. Um, you know, I had some stuff happen uh, right, at, right out of high school, the summer that I graduated. And because of that, um, it affected my life in a huge whirlwind, all right? Um, let's just say I was beaten and abused physically and mentally from it, okay? And there are some things that, that I can't do now because of it. And what I learned from that experience, no, definitely I, I, went off the deep end for a little bit. <laughs> All right, I had my moments, <laughs> trust me. Um, I lost a lot of trust, especially for men. Um, I lost a lot of trust for just being alone with people. I was scared often. But what I did learn from that is that I'm a very strong individual, physically and mentally. I learned compassion for those that have been hurt in the same way, I learned to keep my guard up when I don't know somebody and not keep them out. 
but you have your guard up and you observe. I learned a lot uh, from a lot of my experiences about observing situations. I sit back and I watch and sometimes people think that maybe I don't like them or maybe they think that I love them, <laughs> you know, like, you know, like we're super close, blah, 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 because I'm very friendly, but I am not going to let you into my, my circle, all right, <laughs> if that's the way you want to put it, um, unless if you are a human being that has, um, not necessarily the same beliefs, but morals, morals are a big thing with me, um, I don't have to agree with everything, but um, I'm going to observe. I'm going to see the actions that you take around others, whether you know them or not. Um, I'm going to observe a lot of things. And I think it's really important. And if that, ex you know, if that situation did not happen, I may not have that now. I may be, um, I don't know, uh, naive probably the best word for it, um, to a lot of things, and uh, overall, it's a positive experience now. Another big one was my car wreck. Um, I was told a lot of things. I was told a whole lot of things. I was, I was lucky to be alive. Um, my body was completely... <laughs> A mess, <laughs> you know. Uh, a lot of things out of place. A lot of things just. Uh, I I don't even. I don't even know where to begin with that. All right. Um, major post head injury. Tons of rehab. Um, full year of rehab after that. Um, that was my life. You know, I had to relearn life. I had to relearn uh, talking, walking, running, dancing. Uh, I was told I wouldn't be able to do a lot of things. I was told, you know, uh, that I would always have a handicap, things like that. And I proved those people wrong because I'm determined. I have ambition. And um, not that I don't trust doctors, but any doctor that tells you you can't or you won't, tell them to fuck off. That's how I feel about it. Because you determine what you can do and what you can't do. The mind is way more powerful than any bodily injury, than any disease, than any any of it. Okay? I'm not saying it's easy. It's definitely not easy. That's a hard, hard road to take. But you determine it. Period. Your motivation, your determination, your all of it. It, it is all determined by you. And um, I know this video is getting a little bit long. I'm trying to keep them keep them shorter for you guys, but uh, take any scenario in your life, both good and bad, and think about write down a list of the good things that occurred, the bad things that occurred. Okay, you may have there may be more bad things, but. What are the good things from it? What did you learn from it? What do you do now to either avoid that situation from happening in the past? Or what do you what do you think now when you I don't, are alone with somebody? Or what do you, you know, what are these what did you learn? What did you take from that experience that can be good now? Okay? Um and really see, really see what um, what it is, and look at those bad things and throw them out. Get rid of that. Get that out of your life. A way to deal with it. Um, from what I have learned, one of my biggest things that I learned from the counselor that I will not be seeing anymore is about fear. Okay. Or not fear. Oh my God, <laughs> anger. Sorry, I have a problem with anger. I just don't. I don't really show it. I just kind of shut up and I think about it. And thinking about it is not a way to handle that. Okay, a way to handle that 
is to feel that anger. What I do to feel anger is work out, um, dance, box. I have one of those body opponent bags. Um, even if you don't, maybe you don't have access to a gym, maybe you don't have a setup where it's, you know, um, where you have equipment, things like that. I do it in the bathroom. I'll use the tub to do some tricep dips. I'll be doing push-ups out in the kitchen. I'll be watching a movie and I'll be doing, you know, sit-ups and jumping jacks and everything else. Okay? Definitely when a situation happens, whether it's old or new, deal with that anger that you have toward it or that resentment that you have toward it or whatever feeling it is that you have toward it. Do something physical to get it out of you. Okay, don't just sit there and think about it. Okay, because that's what I did. And it's it's not a healthy way to deal with it. Okay, get yourself moving. Um, my wife, she <laughs> likes to take cups. Um, she actually has a box of, of mugs and, and just glass glass cups and stuff. And she'll go walk down the alley and, oh, oh, you know, do something physical. Sometimes she'll yell. Just, ah, you know, like real loud though. Yelling isn't my thing. Breaking things isn't my thing. But find something that is physical that gets that out of you, okay? And then get rid of it. Be done with it. And keep the positive, keep with the learning part of that experience, okay? With you. And move forward with it. If you were abused as a child, if you are treated like shit, whatever it is, emotionally, physically, I don't care. I don't care how bad it is. Um... Trust me, I've been through a lot, a whole lot, and you can turn any of that around, okay? Take that experience and know that, I don't know, let's say you have a kid now. You're not ever going to treat them like that. You're not going to put them in harm's way like that. You aren't going to make them feel that way, okay? You're going to find ways to teach them that actions like that are not good, okay? You're going to be a good parent to them. Um, maybe you were raped really badly and you couldn't get out of the situation and um, now you, you're in kickboxing or something like that, okay? Or you're a personal trainer or whatever it may be and you, you teach people, you teach other women or uh, you teach children, you know, things like that. Self-defense, okay? That's what, you, that's what you took from it, you know? You know that you're always aware of your surroundings now. You always, um, or, or you, put, you put effort into um, organizations that do help people that have been raped or beaten or whatever it is, okay? There's a lot of good that can come out of bad experiences, okay? I don't really think that there's any bad experiences in life. And like I said, I've had a lot of crazy shit happen. I have turned every single one of those experiences into a positive. There's some experiences that I still have yet to deal the anger part with. Um, I'm working through it. I've got a list because there's, there's just a whole lot. There's a whole lot and that's okay. I'm going to feel that anger, I'm going to get it out, and then I'm going to go back to, this is the positive, this is what I do now to take care of that, this is what I learned from that, this is what I would avoid now, this is whatever, okay? Remember that. Make that list, check it twice, <laughs> and uh, just go through it. Go through it and deal with that. Deal with those feelings and those emotions. Take care of yourself and move forward with positivity. All right. Super long video, sorry, but um, I will talk to you guys very soon. And uh, feel free to uh, like, comment, uh, subscribe, share, all of it. I appreciate it. I really enjoy your guys' comments. It takes me a while to get back to you guys. Um, sometimes I want to think about my response, sometimes I'm just kind of busy, because I do, I have a, a set schedule of things, and, um, don't think I, I don't read it. I always read it, and I will always respond. It just may take a while.
talk to you guys later, and I'll see you at the next video.